Now, with Mother's Day just around the corner, why not try your hand at some home baking for the, 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 the day, the day, the day, that's it. it. <laughs> but if your mum is a sweet tooth, she's bound to love some strawberry tiramisu. Alberta Rossi from the Intercontinental Hotel in Dublin is going to show us how to whip up this delicious dessert. Good morning to you, Alberto. Good morning. Lovely to have you in with us. Ah, it's nice to be here, thank you. And a great treat, tiramisu. Ah, yeah, tiramisu, it's always a winner, you know? And today we're going to make it a little bit different because uh, uh, a lot of the times, obviously, tiramisu is done with coffee. Yes. But there are some people that don't like coffee. I mm. don't like coffee and that's why I don't exactly. normally order a tiramisu. Yeah. You know, a lot of people then go around that by putting Dika coffee, you know, but, yeah. you know, in this way, in this one, we are making it with strawberries. So oh, usually wow. you make a coffee uh, and you dip inside your uh, ladyfinger biscuits. biscuits that yeah. we call Savoyardi in Italian. But in this case, I'm using just a simple syrup, so same amount of sugar and same amount of water. Oh, okay. So you get a little bit of sweetness like that, and then we're going to put the strawberries on top of the Savoyardi. Now, oh, is it difficult delicious. to make? If you're making this at home, is it a bit no, tricky? No, no, it's not difficult. It's, it's better always to do it the day before. You know, if you rest the tiramisu overnight, I'm not saying it sets, but it's much better. It's cold all the way. So you can okay. do this in the afternoon. I made those that you're going to have today, last night, just before putting the kids to bed. Oh. You know, just to relax a bit. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You know. <laughs> so yeah. pajamas on, <laughs> Exactly. <tiramisu>. Put, <laughs> sit yourself in front of the TV for 10 minutes <laughs> while I do this. So what do we have to start with? So you're starting with a mixer, of course. It's much better. You have inside here the sugar. That is uh, about 180 grams and four egg yolks. Caster and you cream sugar? them. Yeah, caster sugar. Okay. And you cream them. Cream Creaming them means that you're going to let it go quite fast and it's going to start to give you some volume and it turns a bit white. Right? And then once you have that creamed, you're going to put inside your half kilo of mascarpone cheese. So is that just egg whites or full egg? Uh, no, egg yolks. egg yolks. You have egg yolks here and then the egg whites, they are on a different bowl and you're going to whip them up uh, till soft peaks. Uh, sorry, actually st yep. stiff peaks. Yep. You know? So stiff peaks means that they, when you pick them up, they, they stay, stay up. They stay, yeah. You know? yeah. So here now we have the mascarpone together with the egg yolks and the sugar, and you just whip it up. It's quite easy. Just whip it up, and that's it. So there's it. no calories in this at all. No, we remove them all. Yeah, all you the know? calories were left <laughs> at the door. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you whip it up for a couple of minutes. Okay. Then you're gonna need a spatula that is like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So consistency is key when you're... Yeah, consistency is key. You know, you just got to make sure that you clean the sides of it because some of the mascarpone cheese tends to stay on the sides. And that's it. You give it just a good whack, as they say. Mm -hmm. You know, because, uh, you know, cooking is also fun, you know? You know yeah. I, always... I, I don't think they say that in Italy, give it a good whack. <laughs> I think that's something no, you learned in Dublin. No, no, that's something Dublin. I picked up here. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, I did. You in Dublin, <laughs> give it a good whack there. <laughs> so now the mascarpone is well mixed in with the eggs and the sugar. So then you remove the bowl, and I did it without making too much mess. Thank you very much. You know, make okay. it. And then we're gonna fold inside the egg whites. So the important thing is not to mix them in with the whisk, otherwise everything just falls apart. So you put it in there, and gently we're gonna fold them. So don't whisk, gently exactly. fold them in. Just hold them like this, mix them like this. Okay. You know, they get nice and soft. How many eggs, Alberto, sorry. So you have four egg yolks, with the sugar, mm -hmm. but you're only using three egg whites. Because if you put four, it might be a little bit too much. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. You know, you can always keep an egg white and mix it with an egg and make a nice uh, frittata for lunch, you know? Oh, Full yeah. of protein, you too, go. you know? See, so once, you. exactly, you know, <laughs> keep, keep it all. <laughs> I, throw, I just throw it out, he'd I make a frittata for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the same as you, Al. <laughs> you know, so then once you have it mixed in, you just put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Yeah. Because it gets nice and refrigerated. Obviously, I brought some already done. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, drive here in a mix, in a, in a container. Then you get any glass, you know, you can even get a nice wine glass, you know. Now, the secret is, uh, see, the, the lady fingers come long enough, but you can check what's the size that you need. You and you up. just break it up, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? And then here is the water and sugar. So it's know? just water and sugar? Just water and sugar, because you want the, the cookie, say the cookie, the lady fingers to get a little bit soft. So, Otherwise, but if you put that on the pan, Alberto? No, no, I just boil the water, put in the sugar, same amount of sugar to water, until the sugar is melted. And that's it. Wow. And then you just put it in there because otherwise, if the lady finger stays too hard, you know there is not the right texture. Yeah. You know you're mm -hmm. finding yourself trying to break the, the biscuit. I know? like the idea of it going into a wine glass. It's ah, nice, yeah, you know, it? and you can see the layers. You know. Yeah. So then you put it in there. I used to love rubbing them when I was a kid from my mum. Mm. And we put in. Them. So then the strawberries. The go strawberries in. go on top. Now they don't have to be perfect. You know. Yeah. 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 Just layering. Just and layering. You don't it, like you know? the coffee taste, you said. No, that. I don't like the coffee and taste. And you don't drink coffee, though. No. 
I love uh, one coffee a day, but I don't eat coffee Tiramisu. desserts. Tiramisu. No, for the same reason, so mm. I'm excited And about then this. you just put in on top yeah. the, the mix. Nice and, and you can do again. two layers. Now, the one that I made for you, there's two layers yeah, on the, it. Yeah, no? the one we have here looks delicious. Yeah, and, and then you just put some uh, cocoa powder on top. So you layer it up. You layer it up. So you see, you put it like this, mm -hmm. put a few more layers, that's it. And then you put again oh. more lady fingers on it. Oh, gorgeous. Can we have a taster? Absolutely. Mm. And, you know, at the top you have uh, bitter cocoa oh. powder. Yeah. Because that balances out the fact that there is sugar inside the and mascarpone yeah. mix. Well, you have your strawberries, so you have one of your five a day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that you is know? And I'm, I'm sure that some of the sugar is one of the one five mm. a day, you know? So, you know, it's you pick all the boxes. So you say to make it the day before. Make it the day before. And just before you go to bed, you put it in the fridge and wake up tomorrow morning. You know, when you're looking for the milk for your coffee, if you're having it, or for the tea, mm. you can see it and you look forward to it later, later during the day. Oh, that is now, delicious. Now, you put the chocolate powder, the cocoa powder, just the last bit. Okay. Just yeah. before you serve it. Because if you put it there the night before, it might soak and it might get wet. Okay. And okay. then it doesn't look good. You, you know? like it. Nice and it's and just a lovely treat, as you say, for Mother's Day. Absolutely. It just make mm. it look lovely. Yeah. Absolutely. Would you, like, would you be impressed now if the husband and children gave you that now for a little dessert I would be over the moon. In bed, on Sunday? Which is why I've taped this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Alberto. No Thank problem. You, Alberto. Thank you, Alberto. Absolutely delicious. delicious. Thank you. Really.